for Beauty. I'm Jeannie D. Thanks for stopping by today. On Prime for Beauty, we have some fun conversation, we share some laughs, and that makes us feel beautiful on the inside. And we always play with makeup, and that makes us feel beautiful on the outside. If you're already subscribed to this channel, I want to thank you so much. And if you'd like to become part of this community, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I upload a new video to Prime for Beauty. So in today's video, we have a special guest. It's my daughter, Rachel D. Hello. Hey, so I'm gonna do a full face of makeup from Rachel's collection. And she chose everything for me. I have no idea what is in store for me. So if that sounds like fun to you, um, please stick around. Oh, let's get primed for beauty. Let's do it. Okay. So, um, Rachel, what, what's, what's first? What do I do? <laughs> first is this, um, which is one of my favorite primers. It's, it's the Shea Moisture Mattifying Primer. I like it because it's really thick and creamy, um, and moisturizing, mm -hmm. um, and, but it's also mattifying. Okay. So this will be interesting because we have different skin types. You know, we have our favorites for a reason, right? right. We have our favorites because they work for us. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. um, how much should I use, Rachel? Uh, like that's that probably one? good, yeah. Okay. So, you just rub and it in like a regular pants pants And rub it in like moisturizer. Yeah. So, well, that feels pretty good. It's so good. Far, it's so kind good. of got a little bit of tackiness to it. Uh -huh. um, and it smells really good. Then I use the... That feels really good. Um, NYX Pore Filler. NYX Pore Filler, um, which is kind of a dupe for the... Uh, oh. And I oop! <laughs> I find that um, <laughs> uh, because I'm really oily that my foundation slips and slides off my nose. Mm -hmm. it, like My makeup will be completely mm -hmm. gone. Um, but with this one, it's not as bad right here. So this next step will be interesting because this is where I am having the urge to go for my yellow correcting. <laughs> Dark circle corrector. Because um, then I just go in with foundation. Oh um, lord. Okay. Here's <laughs> this NARS Sheer Glow foundation in shade Santa Fe. She's going to use the same products and we're going to see how it turns out. See, like, I am just dying because I can see the dark circles. On. It's so funny because that's not even bad in real life. I'm just going to go in with my... Now, this will be interesting because we don't, we have similar skin tones, but we're not yeah, exactly. We're not She's a little more... A little more olive tan than me, so see like what look. That's about. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this is the right color. So, Rachel lives with us. I do. She, about uh, probably about a year and a half ago, she took a look at my makeup bag, and I didn't even own a brush. It was kind of sad. I'm a firm believer that however much makeup you want to own and use is exactly the right amount. Um, but the problem was the tools. <laughs> was, you well, know. Well, I mean, the... I was using a Q-tip or, you know, those little applicators that and you get at the, like in a 10-pack that looks like a matchbook. And there's nothing wrong with that, but they're, re they're like disposable and they were being used for a year, years at a time. <laughs> Please, please tell me there's eyebrow products in that bag. <laughs> Rachel. Just barely. <sighs> okay. It's funny because you like you get into your own routine and it's like, okay, this does not feel right to me. Yeah. I am you having like a little a bit step? of... Yeah, I feel like I skipped like four steps. <laughs> I mean, Rachel, how long... When you do your makeup, how long does it take you? About an hour. Okay. And I am not, I enjoy doing my makeup, but I don't do it every day. Uh -huh. I only do it, um, like if I'm going somewhere, I start work at 8 a.m. And I get out of bed at 7.15 and I'm <clears throat> in my car by 7.30 and I'm at my desk by 8. It's just chaos. We both used it. We both had the same. So, I mean, I guess it turned out pretty, pretty good for me. I mean, I like it. It feels, um, it feels like... Pretty like medium coverage. Mm -hmm. Not. But what's next? What's the, what's in store for me next, my dear? Tarte shape tape. Oh, you know. Um, 
so I just usually put and then I do up the center of my face because I have a very round face. Wow. And so I just want to bring everything to the middle or to the okay. light. I... The most alarming thing about that uh, foundation or that concealer is the scent. It's got a really strong fragrance. Oh, it does. It's kind of... For a concealer. It's like florally fruit. Yeah, it's like perfumey. But um, the, the doe foot on that is pretty nice. It's really big, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, so when I when I do concealer, because I've already got like, at this point, if I was doing my own makeup, I'd have about four layers under eyes already at the age of now, thirty. I don't use a lot. I that's that's me. How, how much I use? I write that. Okay, so what do you think? I'm sorry. Can you still see my dark circles? Okay. So that is the Tarte Shape Tape. Please, Lord, let there be setting powder in that bag. <laughs> because I always do setting powder next. Do you think I'm a monster? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you're a monster. Uh, so for setting powder, I use um, this number seven translucent perfect light press powder. Um, this is in the shade translucent, obviously. So number seven. Oh. Yeah. It's a translucent powder. Okay. And, and I then use that to set my under do eye. Do you what do you do you use this little sponge that it came with? No. Because I could in the old days I would use this sponge for like a year. That's a high quality sponge. Yeah. Um no, I usually just um I use my sponge and make sure everything's tapped in. Mm hmm And then I go in with my sponge and then I Kind of bake, but not really with it. And press it down. I use two brushes when I do my setting powder because it's serious. You want to make sure you don't have any um, fine lines before you use it. And then I, so I use this little tiny brush. Uh, this is a Luxie brush that I got from my Ipsy bag. And so I'll just uh, kind of tap that in. So translucent, huh? It yeah. seems like it has a little bit of a tint to it. It's a little bit peachy in tone, but when you get it on there, it's really light and bright. I feel like it really brightens the under eye without making it really dry. And then I go in with my It Cosmetics brush, and I just kind of give it a little, everything a little zhuzh. Oh wait, don't do your whole face, because I have a different powder for that. Oh, oh lord. And then I use the, this one has seen a lot of love, um, the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. It's a baked product, and you have to be careful because it's fallen out of its little container oh. here. This is the shade Light Beige. Okay. So um, far, I think our color, I think the colors are pretty much working for me. I feel it. like it feels a, I'm a little more th thicker than I'm usually used to. I'm more of a full coverage girl yeah kind of girl. um this is good for setting everything down and then it has a little bit of extra coverage in it but not a ton okay um, of color it adds just like a little bit of life back into my skin after mm. so rachel sometimes on this channel we talk about or we think about things that make us feel good about ourselves uh -huh. is there something that you would want to talk about or share that makes you feel good about yourself Makeup always makes me feel good about myself. It's just fun. Yeah, it's fun. And there's no, um, there's no, like, consequences. Like, you can just wipe it off. You can do whatever you want. I'm a super night owl, so you're more likely to catch me, like, sitting on the couch at 1 a.m. with an eyeshadow palette, just putting mm -hmm. on a look because I'm bored. I'm starting to feel a little more human now. More put together. Yeah. So the next one, um, is our bronzer. Oh, just bronzer? Look. So she brought us the Hula Benefit Bronzer. So, you know, these are all products that are very popular, mm -hmm. and I've never used them. But look at, she's hit pan on that like a week, about a year ago. Yeah, I really like this one. <laughs> it's just a really good tone for me. Um, and I use a smaller brush. And I don't um, contour. I just kind of use a smaller brush and then go into the hollow. 
here and then brush it up into my hairline. And I use this Morphe brush that's got a little bit of an angle on it. And I like to use that one and I kind of just put it in the same spot and I don't contour either. I just kind of go, I go like this, but then I also go up a little bit. And then I also get my ear. And then since we've had all these uh, stay at home time and no haircuts, I kind of do this over my grays a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any, so. Well, JLo's my age. Yeah, that is true. She's the queen of contour. Oh, she looks a lot older than you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Where's the I'll worst? give you that $20 later. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do something different. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So I go in, I have, like I said, I have this angled Morphe, or, yeah, Morphe brush, and I just go in like this. I go up a little bit, and I do that on both sides, and you can kind of see, it gives it a little contour. But my, also my trick is I cut my neck in half. Oh. And then I usually go over with, like, a really big fluffy brush um, that has nothing on it. Do you mean a big brush like this? Yeah, exactly like that. I'm going to do exactly what she tells me, so man, I'll be as beautiful as she is. Maybe. Then I brought two colors of blush. Um, this is my favorite blush formula. Oh, it okay, so these are the ColourPop. Say that this color, this one is the Growth, growth, growth Flirt. Flirt. Super Shock Cheek. Where do they find these names? I don't know. They and must have a whole This one is the... Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And so which color am I going to use? Um, whichever you want to use. That's why I brought two. Um, so have some control. Well, this, yes, she did, <laughs> has a little bit more pl uh, plum. Or, mm -hmm. uh, so I think I'm going to use that it's one. a little more mauve. This one's well, actually, more... you know what? You're my guest. Which one should I use? You tell me. Well, that's why I brought two, so you could choose. <laughs> oh, so I get to choose. You okay. get to choose, yeah. Um, and then this I need to use, like, a fairly dense brush with. Because mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a potty consistency. It's not really, like, cream. Or powder. So I don't use my regular... That's probably dense enough. Okay. Yeah. This is the brush I use, which is a BH Cosmetics 124. And I have the Jeffrey... Uh, it's the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS1. And I always, like, do this and then some of this. Because it gives you less pigment than you would think. Okay. Alright, so we're going to both go in now with our ColourPop. And I don't like to I don't like to make it look like I have like a ton of No, I'm just on. trying to add some color back into my face. Because our foundation took all the color away. Oh that, that's kinda of pretty. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna make a mental note of the things I like. <laughs> well and the nice <laughs> thing about these is that they're super affordable. I think they're like six dollars. Okay. And so like that is worth it. All right. Well, these are the ColourPop Super Shock Super Cheek. Shock Cheek. Um, and this one's matte too, which I like because sometimes sometimes things can get a little glittery. Yeah. And when you get to be you know a little older, a little bit of glitter is okay, but it's it can get a little out of control. If everything you put on has glitter, pretty soon you're just like you look like a disco ball. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. So what's next, Rachel? What's our next adventure? I'm finding the lid for this blush. Oh. <laughs> right here. It's over here. <laughs> um, so we've, we're kind of, are we about halfway there? Yeah. We're okay. about halfway there. Um, did you want to do brows or, do you do brows or first or... Well, I would have already done my brows by now, so I'm just holding. I'm just holding back here. You tell me <laughs> okay. what to do. So we can do brows now. Um, this is the pencil that I use. It's, it's nice because it's it the has the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. Um, it's got kind of all three things you need here. So it's a pencil. I'll be the judge of that pencil. Um, <laughs> and then you can unscrew this, and it's got a powder inside, oh. um, which is really opaque and really dark, um, and then a spoolie on the end. So. That's it? Well, Is and that... then I have a brow gel, but I use that last. Oh, okay. Oh. Like the very last thing I, I do. I see. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to do my brows, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I have a... Um, 
For those of you how that color is going to work for you. I don't know. So I'm going to do my brows now. And um, I have a real detailed video of my current brow routine that I will put in a link in the description box below if you want to see how I do my eyebrows. Yeah. I don't know. But, you know, sometimes you don't... Um, when I did my eyebrow um, tutorial video, one of the things that I had was like this giant box of like all these products that I've tried mm -hmm. and haven't worked. Mm -hmm. But that's how you figure out what works for you. Right. Is that you try a bunch of stuff, so you never know. Is it where? What is Revlon? So you can get this is a drugstore. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. Um, I like the texture of that pencil. Um, and then it's actually I'm uh, blessed in the eyebrow department. And so I don't use You're a ton. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, they're very thick, and so I just use it to kind of fill in the gaps of where to draw in the front, where it kind of fades out here, and then kind of fill in the gaps where it needs to be. So I feel like I need a spoolie there. Okay. It is a little darker than I usually... Yeah, I was going to say, because I, I always, I never even look at what the color is. I always just buy the darkest color. Oh, because well, my hair is like just black. Dark. I um, I've been working really hard to get my eyebrows to look the same, and I think I'm close. Yeah, I think your eyebrows have improved a lot. Well, like I said, year. if you go back and look at the eyebrow video that I posted on on my on my channel, mm -hmm. I had um, I have some pictures in there of my different eyebrows that I've had over recently. The years. Well, just recently. <laughs> all right you need to expose yourself like that but. well no i think it's good to just show people that sometimes it you know they don't always have to look the same but it's it's kind of a trial and error thing mm -hmm. oh did i bend that no i okay. didn't because my i the tool that i use is a milani eyebrow brush mm -hmm. that i think you gave me oh I just use. You knew you any, gave me that, right? Uh, probably not. I j I just <laughs> use whatever spoolie is nearby, really. Okay. Okay, I'm getting happier now because my eyebrows are on. filled in. <laughs> <laughs> so they look pretty good. Really quick. So Rachel is gonna fill hers in. She does have darker eyebrows than me, so she can get away with a little darker product. I am uh, feeling like this might be a little dark for me, but you never know. I mean, it might end up being okay. I mean, our natural hair color is black. It is? I don't remember. Do you know? <laughs> Mine definitely is. Yeah. So, Rachel, you can finish up your eyebrows, and then we'll come back. And... Yeah, then we can come back. All right, we'll be right back. It's really hard to not use your own stuff. Yeah. While you're. All right. Look. Our eyebrows are done. Oh, did. <laughs> Apparently, I keep. It's right there. Oh. Apparently, I keep taking the caps. So here's our eyebrows. Nice. Left eyebrow. I'm riding the struggle bus today. <laughs> I think mine are pretty close to being sisters. Yeah, a lot better than mine. Almost My right twins. one is always great and the left is just like well yeah i mean i always say my right one or my my right one mm -hmm. is great is really good and my left one tries real hard yeah yeah my left one doesn't try okay doesn't even try no okay so what's next rachel i'm so excited uh, next is um i do eyeshadow oh eyeshadow my favorite and um so i brought <clears throat> my, my favorite eyeshadow palette combination Oh, it's a combination. So yeah, I do. I use combinations yeah. too. Yeah, uh, which is two Anastasia palettes. We've got the Modern Renaissance palette, and then the Jackie Ina palette, which is really pretty. You see the iridescence. Yeah. And these are both palettes I don't have. Right. That's why I tried to pick two palettes. And really, honestly, eight times out of ten, when I do my eyeshadow, I'm using at least a couple colors from both of these. Yeah. 
Modern Renaissance just has some really good transition shades oh. and really nice um, warm and cool tones for me. Um, and then for lid colors, the Jackie Aina palette is just absolutely stunning. Um, and this I've, duochrome is one of my favorite colors. Whenever you wear yeah. that one, I always love it. It's my probably number one favorite color in an eyeshadow palette ever. Yeah, it's called it Sponsored. On. It's a green-brown duochrome. Yeah. So this is the... The Anastasia Beverly Hills X Jackie Aina palette. Oops. Really beautiful. Okay. And then let me show this one. And this is the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. Um, so I don't really want to dictate, I guess, like what colors you're going to use. Oh, I think you should. Because um, I, you know, sometimes I, I go in my own little... Um, you know, you get into the way that you like to do them, and then I use the same colors all the time. Yeah. So, I usually do, a, like, a light base first. Is that what you do? Yeah, well, yeah, for the most part. Um, oh, wait, I did bring a lid primer. I'm sorry. I'm oh, say, say, what are we doing here? I mean, and don't you do any, like, foundation or highlighter or anything underneath your brows to clean them up? I don't. Okay. Um, cause I usually bring my, <laughs> I bring my eyeshadow up quite high and then I just kind of blend that out with a mm -hmm. skin tone like this tempera color here, mm -hmm. um, to add some. I use this little wet and wild pencil. Oh, you're welcome to use it if nope, you want to. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> um, it's I've gonna been be great. using this, um, Acid Rain Mama Mitchell, um, oh. blank canvas. Uh, P. Louise base. I think that's what that is. P. Oh. Louise, yeah. These are all very trendy things that I've always wanted to try. <laughs> but um. Um, And you just need just the smallest amount. Um, it looks like I haven't used any of it, but... So I can use it off the, <laughs> off the foil. These are my kind of products where you... Uh... Well, it's like I have nothing on my finger and it's already... I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit and go all the way up to my eyebrow. Oh. That's fine. So when you do your eye shadow, do you talk? Uh, no, I usually watch TV or listen to a podcast. Because mm. so sometimes um, when you do like your, I know for sure like when I'm doing my brows or something, like I can't talk very much. No, I just, um, yeah, I'm usually listening to a podcast. How bright that is compared to the other I use side. the, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, look in the camera. In the camera, it's a lot more dramatic. It does a really good job of covering up any kind of, like, discoloration you might have. Um, and it's really nice and sticky. Yeah. Are you well, I'm hoping that you're going to let me do a color, do an eye with that sponsored, because that is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so what we will do then... And I have all my own brushes. Yeah, I brought mine as well. Okay. Um, so then we'll start with um, a transition color, mm -hmm. um, and that I think we will use this... We're going to do that green-brown sponsored, mm -hmm. so we'll start with golden ochre, which is this color here. Okay, so you just like kind of a medium fluffy brush? Yeah. I use the Wayne Goss number 16. See now, this this golden ochre that you're telling me to use is a little bit darker than I normally would use on my... Are you going in the crease? Yeah. But just like wild in the crease, like no real... Just to kind of get a base going. Yeah, because I find that powder glides over powder a lot better than yeah. skin. And so... Do you do both eyes when you do your eyeshadow? Um, typically. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you go in first. This is kind of fun. We've never done our makeup together before. I don't think so. Well, our schedules are so different, you know? Yeah. And do you think I have enough or should I go, would you go more? Um, I think it looks good. It's just to warm, warm up the crease area. Oh, oh, I went in burnt orange. That's okay. That's good. We're going to use next. Okay. <laughs> so burnt orange is right underneath that. Yeah. 
So where's this one going? Uh, just more in the crease. You're just kind of building it up. But a little bit lower down. We're just going to add a little bit of depth. So when I do, when I start doing the darker colors, I always start from like the outside. Yeah. And like make it darker there and then blend it out this way. Is that what you do? Yeah. I kind of stamp it down where I want it to stay and then fluff it into the areas. Is this, do they still sell this palette? Yeah. Because <laughs> I might their, need it. It's one of their um, main part okay. things of the line. I say that, I mean, it's not a like a collaboration. It's mm -hmm. just a, Anastasia palette. So there it is with the, we did the burnt, burnt orange now. And then what's next? Next, um, I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush and then go into um, Ginger in the Jackie Ina palette. Okay. And Ginger's a little bit... It's the same kind of tone, a little bit deeper. So like a brush like that size, do you think? Yeah. Morphe Jeffree Star JS9. Oh, that's what I have in my hand, too. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, cheers. All right. Sometimes we end up buying, like, two of the same things. Right? Yeah. Um, next is going to be the final crease color. Um, we will use this color credit. It's kind of a... It's like a very deep chocolate brown with a red base. Okay. And a small brush? And a even smaller brush, yes. Yeah. So I'm using the Wayne Doss number four. When my tax return came this year, I treated myself and bought another Wayne Doss number 16. Where are you putting this one? Right in the right in the crease. Right in the crease. Yeah. Okay. So hold it kind of like uh, almost like directly perpendicular to your eye. Uh, yeah. I might have went a little hard with that one. Yeah. I use a, a lighter hand. <laughs> <laughs> and you can force that by holding the brush down closer oh, okay. to the end because you don't apply as much pressure. So then what I do is I usually just take the brush that I yep. that I was using before and then just be just be blending. Yep, always be blending. Um I'm feeling like I messed this up. I think I have to go in with the lighter shade again and go over a little more with the lighter like get some more light. Um yeah, you could take some of the golden ochre and kind of just smoke out the edge of it. Yeah. Yeah, then I think it'll be good. Because sometimes if you put, like, some of these more opaque things on your lid, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter so much if it's mm -hmm. messed up on your lid, but right. up here you want it Because we're going to take that sponsored color and put it all over the lid, oh, so... we are. Oh. And then just swipe it onto the lid. The whole lid. What's going to happen when you hit pan on this? I'm going to die. Where do you put it all over it? Yeah. Well, your eyeshadow always looks so pretty. And whenever I ask you, if I say, like, oh, it looks so pretty, you always go, oh, yeah, that's the Jackie Young palette. I, yeah, this is easily my favorite palette, I think, that I've ever bought. It's so pretty. And she just put so much thought into it. You can really tell it's hers. How's that? More? Yeah, a little bit more. I like more. Um, because it's a nice duochrome, you really don't have to do a ton more to it. Mm -hmm. It automatically gives you that like dimension around the eye rather than just kind of sitting flat. That's good. It's like kind of a purpley tone on you. It's pretty. It's such a good color. It's like you turn your head this way and it looks one color and then... Mm -hmm. It's really... Oh, that's probably why they should call it a duochrome. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's see yours. I should have. Okay, nice. What's next? Um, so then I take my big fluffy brush again. And the same one we just used... The, the first one? Yeah, yeah the first one that we used. Um, and I'll do the same, but on my lower lash line in reverse. Okay. Hey, we make, this, we make the same face. Yeah. So we're going to do that, and we'll be right back. And so then I usually use this big, flat, fluffy brush. Okay. 
um, to use the final color, which would be um, what we credit, right? Oh, I already just did that. Oh, that's okay. Whatever. And right. when I do mine, I use this little um, It Cosmetics, this little smudger brush. Oh, sure. That makes sense. Yeah. And it's just kind of nice. I think this is a BH Cosmetics brush that I've worn. Oh, number 103. Um, so then I will use um, a really dense kind of packing brush. This is an Eco Tools brush that I've had for pretty good. Um, and I'll take um, from the Modern Renaissance palette the color Primavera and right under my here under my brow. Oh, okay, I like that. Um, and then you can also use that in your inner corner. Zhuzh, we call it here. I'm yeah, Zhuzh. How do you spell that? Zhuzh. Z. 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 I don't know. I'm just wondering. All right. And then lastly, um, <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Take the color Zam, which is like a very, it's very glitter. Um, I just pat my finger down into it. And then pat very lightly in the center of my lid. So this is like a really, it's like a glitter. Yeah. Just in the center? Yeah. Like a halo eye? Yeah, kind of, but kind of like a false halo. Just to give you the glitter effect, but... Now I have a ton of fall off. See, yeah. I go back in with my foundation brush and just give it a little yeah oh that's real pretty yeah this isn't turning out too bad i was kind of scared why <laughs> i mean it's not like i walked around with crazy makeup every no and no i'm just saying like because when you're doing your own makeup you have your own things that you know work for you mm -hmm. so it's like you're not sure if it's going to work or not mm -hmm. yeah that's so. good yeah. Um, so then mascara. So we're going to do our mascara and then we, and our lipstick. Mm -hmm. Is there lipstick in your bag? There is, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do our mascara and our lipstick and we will be right back on Prime for Beauty. <sighs> All right. Um, so, so then we almost the, finally so we've got highlighter. Um, and this is the Rach Loves um, Plus Pixie collaboration she's a youtuber and is amazing and I love her um, and it's really pretty so I'll use these two mixed together <clears throat> and then you add one of these on top as I want a highlighter it's supposed to be the palette is for layering and so that's why it's so many different colors the other so. day when I wore like um, blue and green eyeshadow I used the Jeffree Star Cosmetics mint condition highlighter And because I'm oily, I don't do like a ton of highlighter. It always makes me feel like I'm, my oil's coming through. Well, and I do a lot of Zoom meetings now for work, so I gotta have my highlighter popping. <laughs> and that one's at Target too. That's a really oh, good that's price point for that one. Well, look at that. Yeah. She's glowing. She does glow. <clears throat> Second to last, last is lipstick. Second to last. Yeah. Oh, um, because brow gel is the very last thing I do. Mm. Um, Rachel's been hiding her brow routine in all of this. We've done a little bit here, a little bit there. Mostly, I think it's because I always forget to do my brows, and so I end up peppering it in throughout my routine. Um, this is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Surf's Up. It's my all-time favorite lipstick of ever. So. Let me hold it up. I think we got this from Sephora, right? Because I did a I Sephora, think so. it's um, also at Ulta. mail order Sephora video. We opened oh, it right. on my channel and we showed that. Yeah, so. I told him that you took my Pat McGrath lip balm. I did do that. And no regrets. The joys of being under the same roof. Yeah. No lip what? liner. No lip liner? No. Okay. I use the lipstick as liner. Do it. 
Who wore it better? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then I do, um, this is Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number 5. It's the darkest that they have. Um, and then I just do a quick run this through my brows at the end. Um, but that's not brow gel, is it? Yeah, it's like a, isn't it gel, don't you think? I think it's just like pigmented brow gel. I just do that at the very end in case any like powder or glitter or anything fell into my eyebrows and it just, just covers mm -hmm. it up and cleans it up. I have one too, so I'll just use mine. That's fine. It's a little lighter. <laughs> check so here we are we're all done so thanks for joining us today Rachel yeah happy to it's got fun. to try out a little bit of your makeup and <laughs> turned out pretty good I think I think so I'm actually surprised that the foundation shade was such a good match yeah I'm, I might have to like borrow that sometime oh, well. um, I hope that you had some fun and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and it, if you had a lot of fun today, just click that notification bell so you won't miss out on the next time I post a new video. So, I'm Jeannie D. And I'm Rachel D. Thanks for watching. Primed, Primed for, for Beauty! beauty.